Hey, welcome to my channel. You are here to see the pumpkin hummus. This is a joint effort between me and Denise over at Dish with D. We were both going to make pumpkin hummus anyway. And she said, well, let's do it together. So here we are. She's going to do it her way and I'm going to do it my way. It's not a competition. It's just her taste and my taste and gives you two ways to try it. So we'll turn around and cook and let me warn you, what you're going to see is flying by the seat of my pants. I am winging it the whole way. So <laughs> be sure if you've not been over to see Denise, you go see hers when you get through with mine. And thanks for watching. Okay, so hopefully you can see everything. This is kind of an odd angle with this big, tall food processor. I went ahead and took just a regular can of garbanzo beans, rinsed them really, really well, and I have them in my food processor. Now we are going to blend these things until we think we can't blend them anymore to get them as smooth as we can. We'll come through, scrape them down a little bit, add a little bit of unsweetened cashew milk or almond milk, if that's what you want, to um, help it go smoother, and then we will start adding everything else. Okay, I've scraped it down. Let me show you. It's a little like sand, like at the beach. <laughs> So I'm going to scrape it down and add a little bit of cashew milk. Now this is a half a cup and there's no points in a half a cup. So even if we go up to a full cup, it's only a point. Okay, now let me Okay, it feels feels pretty smooth to me, so I'm going to go ahead and add in my can of pumpkin. I'm going to use a whole can of pumpkin because it's pumpkin and it's zero points. <laughs> and it's pumpkin pie hummus. This is going to help it smooth out too. Okay, now let's start adding in some flavor because really on their own, neither one of these has much flavor. So the first thing I want is a quarter cup of sugar-free syrup. This is my brand is one point. I think some brands are zero points. So a quarter cup of that. I need to do my dry thing first. Hold on. Let me get another quarter cup. Mm, not a quarter cup. I want a quarter cup of the Lakanto Golden, the brown sugar substitute. I have my white um, monk fruit out just in case it's not sweet enough. It sounds like it's going to be super sweet, but I don't find the brown sugar substitute as sweet as I do the regular granular. Then I want two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. I'll leave that there. We might want some more of that. And then two teaspoons of vanilla. Process this again. Hello. 
I'll see if I need to scrape it. I see some spice up top. It's a little thin. Let's give it a taste. I do notice it's thinner than a lot of hummus, but if it tastes good, I'm not going to be mad at it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Moment of truth. Okay, I think it tastes okay, but it's still more grainy than I want it to be, so I'm just going to let this thing go. Okay, it is still thin, but, hold on, it's a lot less grainy texture. I think it needs a little bit more sweetness, not in the form of like brown sugar or pancake syrup, but just good old white sugar. So I'm going to do two tablespoons, which will be half of this of some white sugar. I can't decide if it needs another pumpkin pie spice in it or not. I'm thinking maybe just some cinnamon. Let's try that. Let's try just a teaspoon of cinnamon in addition to the pumpkin pie spice. Because some of those spices in the pumpkin pie spice get a little um, strong if you're not careful. Okay. Use the other end. Hmm. I think that might have done it. It tastes like a pumpkin pie to me. This is one of the little things I bought that I wanted specifically to go with pumpkin pie hummus. Hold on. I can get a big bite because the only points in here is one point for that a quarter cup of pancake syrup. Okay. It tastes like pumpkin pie to me. Here's the thing. If you make it and you don't like the way it tastes, then it is always up for interpretation. Uh, just to add more takeaway, um, whatever you think sounds good to you. I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure that, hold on. You see, it's, it's awful runny. It's like a, kind of like a dip. Maybe I shouldn't have put so much pumpkin in it. I, I went with reckless abandon. <laughs> but, I'm thinking, once it sits in the fridge, it's going to thicken up. I feel like that's what it's going to do. And the flavors are going to get even better, too. Okay, there is my take on the pumpkin pie hummus. Let me get a little bat. Let me get one. Let me get one more taste for you. Definitely has more flavor on its own than when you eat it with a pretzel. <laughs> so I don't know how to fix that. I don't want to make it too too strong that it really overpowers things. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. I'm gonna let it chill out a little bit. See if it thickens up for me, which I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it does. And, um, so that's it. If I have time to let it chill before I actually edit this video and get it up, I will come back and tell you and show you the difference. Otherwise, this will be the end of the video, and I appreciate you watching. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. The way we cook today is sometimes the way we cook. We just fly by the seat of our pants, and you know what? Sometimes it works, and sometimes it does not. I think this worked. Now, I blended the pure tea daylights out of it in that 
food processor. I mean, probably, out of all this videotaping time, probably a good 10 minutes. Just go longer than you think you need to because it takes that. We don't have the commercial kind here that gets it smooth like they do at the store. It, it, I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to get it any smoother. So, anyway, I'll be back if I have time. And otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. And be sure and go watch Denise if you hadn't already been there first. Guess who's already back? That would be me. I put this up. I was cleaning up. And I happen to think it's still just missing something. <sighs> Pumpkin pie spice coffee creamer. Now, you can use the sugar-free. I don't use sugar-free coffee creamers. So this one I already had written down. One tablespoon is two points. I put this in this bowl so I can know how much I had. I had two cups, which is 32 tablespoons. I'm going to add at least two tablespoons. So that would make the whole. It's going to um, make it thinner. But like I said, I hope it's going to set up while it's in the refrigerator. But I just feel like it needs something creamy. Let me see. Oh, that helped it. Oh. Oh, y'all. Yeah, that helped it. Matter of fact, let me think. I'm going to go one more. So I'm going to go three tablespoons. So that would be two, four, six, seven points. I, I thought I was going to try to get away with a zero point. But if you have... Now, I also have pumpkin pie syrup. I have pumpkin pie flavoring. But... I don't want to get it too overwhelmed with the spice, but I did want a little something extra and just a little bit of creaminess. So, let's see. Well, that tastes like, it tastes like hummus because it's got garbanzo beans in it. And I'm not going to stand here and lie and say, oh, it don't even taste like garbanzo beans because yes, it does. <laughs> My taste buds taste them. But you know what? That's what hummus is. Hummus, that is the base. So if we're eating hummus, we have to go into it with the expectation of perhaps we will taste a bean. But the flavor, it tastes like you could just put it in a pie shell and bake it like a pumpkin pie. It just does. So now I'm going to cover this and the, the same, same thing applies as before. If I have time to come back after it chills, I will let you know if it's set up any better.